Hello and uh, welcome back. So I was watching this uh, Mission Impossible Fallout movie uh, the other day, and it's uh, it's a fine action movie. It got me entertained while enjoying a meal and a and a few a few drinks. <clears throat> but this is not a review of this movie. I'm just interested in one part. And if you watch uh, my video, you probably guessed it. It's the uh, plutonium core. Uh, so basically, Tom Cruise and his crew trying to uh, retrieve three yes three uh, plutonium cores. From uh, from terrorist, so as uh, as usual, Hollywood get a few things wrong about nuclear material and uh, nuclear weapons in general. Now now I know this sounds very geeky and nerdy, and very few people care. But since I couldn't find anyone on the, on YouTube who has uh, bitched about it, I thought I was um, I could be the first. So to keep the audience uh, engaged, I, uh, I totally understand the need for for a mighty threat, and uh, what better threat than nuclear weapons, right? And uh, to make the threat credible, it would be nice to respect the laws of physics. So the very first violation I've noticed happened early on uh, in the movie when uh, when the plutonium is presented to Cruz and uh, and his guys. The, you see, the, the thing about uh, fissile material is that you can't you can't have too much of it all in one place. Some uh, some isotope, like in this case plutonium two thirty nine, have a critical mass, and uh, and to make a bomb, you want to be as close as possible as that critical mass without ever reaching it. So three subcritical spheres in the same suitcase uh, will not create a nuclear explosion per se, but uh, br bringing even one closer to the other will certainly result in a criticality accident. I explained in detail in a previous video how, how that could happen. Okay, but let's uh, let's assume for a minute that uh, all three spheres could be brought together and sitting quietly in front of uh, Simon Pegg for him to uh, simply wave a beryllium rod a few inches over the spheres. Now I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the what this is supposed to accomplish. First I thought, well, maybe the alpha decay from the plutonium could uh, free up some neutrons uh, in the in the beryllium and some of those uh, could find their way back to the core and trigger some fission, which which could increase the uh, radioactivity being picked up by uh, the radiation detector here. But I'm not sure this would be detectable. It still seems like a long shot. Would probably require some equipment a little bit more sensitive than um, Geiger counter app on the phone and a beryllium rod. But uh, hey, they're secret agent after all, right? Some writers probably heard of the uh, beryllium spheres in the Lewis Ludden critical accident. I'm not sure, I don't know. Uh, these uh, Plutonium is a hard metal to work with, it's brittle, it's alloyed with uh, gallium. It uh, corrodes easily so it's covered in the nickel. So there's not much coming off this thing. You can probably feel the heat off of it, but uh, waving your beryllium rod seems pretty pointless. In another scene, we can see Simon Pegg throwing the suitcase towards the car in what seems to be a good 30 feet uh, or about 10 meters. Uh, plutonium has a density of 19.8. Compare that with gold of, at 19.3. Uh, so uh, three subcritical spheres should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 37 pounds or so, give or take. Uh, with the suitcase, we somewhere around 40 pounds. So I filled the sports bag with uh, the same weight. And tried to uh, casually toss it like in a movie. I, uh, I'm a reasonably strong guy. I mean, I mean, I'm not super fit, but you know. But I, uh, I couldn't replicate the movie as, uh, as you can see. In the final climax, the team is uh, looking for the last bombs, and um, they're using what uh, what I can only assume to be a Geiger counter. Now, it wouldn't make sense until you realize that plutonium is mostly an alpha emitter, and it's coated with nickel inside a box, inside another box, and uh, and you could probably put the detector directly on top of the bomb and not get anything besides the uh, background radiation. They also get uh, interference from uh, X-ray equipment. Now, if, if you ever get an x-ray, you know that uh, nothing's coming out of the tube until it's being powered up. And these seems to be packaged and ready to be shipped. And unless they contain a portable thallium-170 source, which doesn't seem to be the case, I don't think you would pick up anything either. And then uh, finally, touching uh, weapon-grade plutonium with bare hands is probably not the safest thing to do. But uh, it's been done before and people have uh, survived just fine. So I'll give you a pass on that one. So these are just a few details that I feel would make for a better story. But I hope I didn't uh, ruin the movie for you. And I also hope that you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, share, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Damn it!